I am Valina, and uh, this is our guest. Uh, they are members of ISEC organization. ISEC is an organization which includes uh, students from all over the world. Uh, they visit week, this week, they visit our secondary school in Skorunka Street. Uh, they live in students' houses, uh, spend time with us, uh, teach us about their culture and uh, country. Uh, it's always a lot of fun and uh, we can also practice our English. We have some questions for you and we hope you will answer us. And firstly, we will introduce ourselves. Yes, my name is Wei Feng. Uh, my Chinese name is Liang Wei Feng. I'm from China. Nice to meet you. And my name is Fahad. I'm from Pakistan and I'm 21 years old. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> and the first question is, why uh, do you take part in ISEC? Uh, actually, I'm not a member of ISEC, but I joined the ISEC now. Maybe I am a uh, member of ISAP. Uh, the reason why I joined ISAP is very simple. I want to train, have a training about leadership and inspire my creativity and on my own, uh, create my own experience. That's all. Okay, I took uh, part in Isaac because I believe that Isaac is the best platform who provides opportunity to improve your communication skills, to have uh, international um, review about different countries and it is the best platform that provides you different things. You can improve your confidence, you can improve your communication skills, you can have some uh, knowledge in some different things about some other countries as well. So that's, why, that's the main reason, that was the basic reason I took part in Isaac. Okay, and what did you do before I said? Uh, before I said, I was a vice minister of our student unions. In that position, I can have uh, a lot of chance to organize, uh, have organized a lot of competition and have a very good communication with the students and the teachers. And I was just a member of, uh, it was like a social organization in Pakistan University organized and run by the students of the university. So I was just a member of that organization. But back then I joined Isaac, so I had to left that organization. What kind of schools uh, do you have in your country and what is the educational system? Mm. Uh, I heard from a friend, uh, a host family, that the education in China and Poland is quite similar. We have six years for primary school, and three years for middle school, and three years for high school, and four years for university. And before our university life, we should have a, a college entrance is examinations to enter the school, just like in Poland. Is that right? Yes. And we also have same, we have primary schools, then middle schools, then high schools, and then universities. But the difference between our education and the education of Poland is that uh, from the start, like from the first grade, from the primary school, all of our education is in English. Uh, unlike Polish because all education in Poland is in the traditional language in Poland but it's not the same in Pakistan. We have all the education and all the subjects in English so this is the basic difference. Else we have the same middle school, high school, primary school and university. Else the education institutes are the same. Okay. What's your traditional food? Uh, talk. About traditional food, I want to tra talk about some traditional festival. Uh, in our Lantern Festival, we will eat Tang Yuan in Chinese and in English is uh, rice dumpling. And in our Dragon Bull Festival, we will eat Zhong Zi because rice pudding, just like your mango puddings. And 
In the mid-autumn festival, we will have moon cake, uh, we call Yue Bing. Yes, uh, three traditional food. The first one is uh, rice dumpling, the second one is rice pudding, and the third one is moon cake. Okay, if I talk about the cuisine of Pakistan in one word, too spicy would be the most appropriate word. Uh, Pakistan people love to eat too spicy food and one of the most famous and traditional dish is uh, chicken biryani. It is basically a rice made up of uh, a lot of uh, chicken and it depends upon the taste of the person if he wants to add some chicken, beef or something. But it is of too much of spice and with a lot of, of vegetables and it is eaten with uh, appetizer made up of yogurt. Yogurt with uh, uh, consists of uh, some pieces of cucumber, pepper and some chilies as well. So this is our traditional and most famous and popular dish in Pakistan, chicken biryani. Okay. What's the most popular sport in your country? In my country, the uh, teenagers enjoy playing basketball, uh, football, and badminton and table tennis. And badminton and table tennis is very famous and popular in China. And I know uh, diving is also very good in China, but very few, uh, not too much people can uh, dive. Yes. And our national game is hockey, but the most popular game in Pakistan is cricket. We were the world champions in cricket last year as well. But now we are not the world champions anymore. And the most popular game in Pakistan is cricket. And uh, the youngsters of Pakistan are highly influenced with every game. So every type of game I played in Pakistan. But the main focus is on cricket. And most popular game and famous game is cricket. Uh, what do usually teenagers do in their free time? Uh, teenagers, uh, firstly, they should have class. After the class, they will play some sport like basketball and football, badminton and tennis. And in the home, they will be them, singing a song or dancing. Or some people will play computer games. That's all. Uh, in Pakistan, it depends upon the people. Uh, like some people prefer to play sports, as most of the youngsters in Pakistan are much more motivated and influenced with sports. So they mostly they want, they like to, and they prefer to play sports. But some people go for horse riding, some for swimming, and one of the most famous uh, sport played in Pakistan is billiard. So a lot of people play billiard as well, and some prefer to spend some time with their friends while chatting and all this. So it depends upon the people and depends upon the students what they want. Okay. What's your religion? Religion? I'm very afraid that you will ask me the question about religion. But I can tell you um, a lot of Chinese people do, do not have religion. Uh, but I can tell you something else. Our mind is from Yu Jia, Yu Jia Sixiang. Uh, in English, it is uh, confusion. Uh, a man confusion. His mind is very great, so we learn that mind. And in our home and in our family, we pay for Buddha and another uh, another god is called Guan Yin. Is and um, is a uh, uh, Bud Buddhism, Buddhism goddess, <laughs> Guan Yin. Uh, I am a Muslim and my religion is Islam. Okay, that's all from me and uh, now I go. Yes, uh, have you experienced any signs of Protestant involved? Uh, do you mean something, some people is blue for me? Oh, no. Uh, I think the people here is very friendly and kind. Okay, can you? Yeah, once I felt like this, but uh, they were not the Polish people. Mm -hmm. I went to the Indian restaurant in Katowice. 
So I asked that man, uh, he, there was a dish, it was my favorite dish, but that dish was made up of pork, as we are not allowed to eat pork. So I requested him that, can he make this dish uh, with chicken instead of pork? And he was like looking at me like this, and he was just, he just got angry, I don't know why. So I just left that place and went somewhere else. Okay, so uh, how many places in Poland have you seen so far? And which of them do you like the most? Uh, this is my first time to go uh, to come here, come to Poland, and this is the third way in Poland. The first way are in Yawajno, and the second way is in uh, Galibizne. And the third way I come here, and the most uh, the city I prefer to go is Yavajino because the day I come to Yavajino is full is covered by white snow. The signature there is very beautiful. <laughs> yes, and the people and my host family are very kind and friendly there. Uh, I've been to Russia, I've been to Vladsov, Katowice, Vire and this uh, city. But I prefer to go uh, Wrocław because I consider it as the most developed city in Poland, mm -hmm. and so that's why. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Poland? Will you visit us again? Uh, my first impression of Poland is beer. <laughs> a lot of beers here, and this is a world. This is a country filled of alcohol, and. If I have ch opportunity to come to Poland again, I will go here again. And the best part of the Poland for me is the people of Poland. I like them, they are very nice people. They always try to help people from other countries. I have noticed and I feel it like this. And if I ever get a chance to come here in Poland again, and I would love to come here again. Okay. Uh, do you think that Polish language is difficult? Uh, I think if I want to learn all of the Polish language, it's very difficult for me. But I can speak some simple words like good morning, uh, hello, and goodbye, and thank you, and others. <laughs> yeah, I think that Polish language is one of the most difficult languages in the world. You have some sounds like some word like like these words and I don't know how to pronounce that word and we cannot even pronounce that word. So it is very difficult language for me people. For me as well. Yes. For me specifically for me, it is a very difficult language. Okay. Uh, can you tell anything in your language? In my language? Okay. Uh, as I told you, I can speak a lot of uh, some simple word in Polish and I can say English, Polish and Chinese. Hello and Czech in Polish and Ni Hao means hello in Chinese and good morning is Xin uh, we call Zhao Shang Hao and like uh, saying goodbye is Dobzenia and in our country is Zai Jian. Yes. <laughs> I will introduce myself in my language and then, then I will translate it into English. My name is Fahad Amjad, I am 21 years old and I am Pakistan and I am in my university in last year. So my name is Fahad Amjad, I am 21 years old, I live in Pakistan and I go to university and I am in the last year of my university. Okay, so uh, what are your stereotypes about Poland? Hmm, that's a very good question. As I told you, my the first impression of Poland of me of mine is beer. And when I come here, I find I found the people here not only love beer, also love vodka. <laughs> yes, I think it's very oh surprise for me because I think vodka is uh, Russian. Drink. They will drink vodka all, all the day. Oh, when I come to Poland, I think, oh, 
Polish people who always drink vodka <laughs> in their house, in their restaurant, <laughs> and for their parties. Uh, my opinion is very similar to Wafon's uh, opinion because when I was in Pakistan, I heard that vodka is much cheap in Poland than water. And yeah, there, is, there are some places where vodka is very really cheap than water, a little bit of bottle of water as well. And in my first host family, they were the people, they drink vodka or they drink beer or vodka in their breakfast and their lunch and then they have dinner. So I was very surprised that it would that I, whatever I heard was true. Is it true that you eat a lot of rice? Rice? Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, for me, I will eat two bowls of rice for each meal in lunch and supper. Uh, and for breakfast, I will eat noodles and porridge. Um, and noodles and porridge are all made from rice. And as I told you before, uh, uh, in Lantern Festival, we will eat rice dumpling, and in Chicken Bowl Festival, we will eat rice pudding. So maybe a lot of, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so uh, it is called to have uh, many wives in your country. It is not that common that we, the people have many wives in the company, uh, in the country. It is that like a, we are allowed to have four wives, but in in only in that case, if uh, I have a wife, uh, if I want to marry some other girl, I have to take permission from the first one. If she allowed, and if she has no problem with the second one, then I am allowed. And it's if I took, if I take the ratio, if I say the ratio is like out of five thousand people, there will be two people or one people will be there who have more than one wife. So it is not very common, but there are some people in Pakistan who have more than one wife. Okay. Uh, do you have limits uh, on the number of children? Uh, yes. Now, now is yes because China China have one point three billion Chinese people there and the area is 9.6 million square kilometer uh, so it's very crowded in China and in in the Asian time and in the past in the past year we think uh, when you have a lot of children you have a lot of uh, you have a good future and blessing for, for uh, good future and blessing and uh, like my father, he has six brothers and two sisters. And in the twenty, in the past twenty years, we have a li limitation to each family. Uh, you only can have one child. And in the few years, the population uh, is going slowly. In uh, it's smaller, and then the government tells us we can have two children if you if we want. Okay. okay I understand. Uh, do you have uh, to wear traditional clothes? Yeah, we wear traditional clothes, but uh, in regular basis and in regular regular routines, people of Pakistan are much more influenced with Western clothes. But we have we considered Friday as a special day because we have a special prayer on Friday for like about half an hour. So we wear so like means it is our traditional clothing Friday. And in all our cultural days, festival we prefer to wear our traditional clothes. Okay, uh, do women have to cover uh, their face? Yeah, uh, it's not necessary in everywhere in Pakistan, but in the only in the province of KPK, they are the Pathan people known as. So they 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 uh, consider they 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 the women are necessary that they should cover their faces and all of them all of their body because but uh, this is only when they have to go outside their homes but inside with their family members brothers and everyone cousins they are free to wear anything but outside when they have to go outside they have to wear the specific burqa uh, the dress known as burqa so that's why. Okay, thanks a lot for this interview and I hope we will meet again. Thank you. Thank you so much.